Hey everybody, it's Vlogmas Day 14 and I decided to have a little chat with you today. So, you're wondering, well, what am I going to chat about? Well, just in case some of you have been following me since day one, you realize that I've had some issues with some housemates. Well, one particular housemate is no longer in this house and I got caught doing some stuff, inappropriate stuff in his room. Let's just put it that way. So I'm a lot less stressed than I was and I'm feeling okay. I didn't actually feel good being in this house with that particular person. That particular person used every excuse in the book and wasn't being a man. So he's no longer here. Karma, karma, karma. And I'll leave that at that. Now, over the next few videos, I'm going to be chatting with you a little bit about my running races this year. For those of you who've been following me for a long time, you know I'm a runner. And I've had some pretty awesome runs this year. I'm going to give you today my top three. And then I'll talk about the rest of them and how they were meaningful in certain ways. In no particular order, my top three goes as follows. Maritime Race Weekend. My 5K runway run. And as I look at my tree, it's hard to decide, but I'm going to have to say my 8K, multi-terrain 8K at the Hopewell Rocks. So we'll start with Maritime Race Weekend. It is a destination race in Nova Scotia, Canada that has people from all over the world. We mostly have Canadians, but then there are some Americans and, and a good and a good mix of Canadian versus American. And then we have Europeans that come for this race. Now you're asking why? Well, first of all, it is set in a tourist village in Eastern Passage, Nova Scotia, called Fisherman's Cove. And that's the start and finish. And then we run the main road along the sea. You're wondering, well, we're basically running towards the Atlantic Ocean. Some of us are running for 5K times two, which is what I did. Some of us are running a 5K and 10. Some of us are running a 5K and a half marathon. And then some of us are running a 5K and a full. So that's over two days. A Friday night is the sunset 5K. And Saturday is the 5, 10, half, or full. So I did 2 times 5. I missed my personal best on that race. And I don't remember. It was, it was, it was significant am amount of time, but I don't remember exactly how long. Anyway, my uh, Sunrise 5K. I almost set my personal best and that set me up for my hometown race, which I will tell you about in a future Vlogmas video. Now, October 1st, that race was in September. I think it was the 16th and 17th of September, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the 16th and 17th, the week before my birthday. Then, um, after my birthday, on the 1st of October, I did the runway run. The first runway run here in Moncton. It was an amazing event. The person who does the marketing and um, public relations for the airport is a runner herself. And you knew that because every detail was looked after. There was even a medal. And it was just an amazing, amazing, amazing run. To be able to run on the runway of an airport takes a lot of logistics, 
to close it. You have to get Transport Canada's blessing. And you have to make sure that, you know, there's not a lot of airplanes around or coming in. And it kind of cra was a little crappy because we could have gone all the way to the new airport if there wasn't a plane that needed to land at like 8 o'clock in the morning. But I enjoyed it nonetheless and hopefully I will be able to do it this year. And that was a United Way fundraiser. That was pretty awesome. Now, you're wondering why I decided on my multi-terrain 8K as the last of my top three races. Well, part of this race was run on the ocean floor of the Bay of Fundy. Bay of Fundy has the highest tides and in 2015, I actually cheered on some friends of mine who did it. So, I wasn't gonna let 2016 go by and if they had the race, I was gonna do it. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna miss it. So, you're wondering why that multi-terrain made my top three. Not only did I run on the ocean floor, I got to pavement, trail, grass, what else? Um, trail. I now know that if I really put my mind to it, I can do a trail run. It's pretty amazing the amount of runs I've had this year. But those are my top three, as I said, in no particular order. Well, one of my top three for 2017 is going to be re reoccurring. Hopefully, I will be able to do a five, and a five at least. I think I'm going to revenge the 5K at Maritime Race Weekend, the 15th and 16th of September. So hopefully, I'll be able to do that. And hopefully, I will be able to do the airport run this year, as I said earlier. So today, I give you my top three and a fireside chat. What are you guys doing to stay active in the middle of winter? It's hard. Do I ever understand that with the lack of light and daytime schedules? On that note, we'll see you for day 15. Happy day 14th of Vlogmas, everybody.